All right, uh, we're going to paint these figures. And uh, let me get some water. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not ready. As I should be, let's put it that way. Now this should be a very simple uh, uh, painting. Uh, basically, both pieces will be painted white, and with the exception of the girl's dress, which will be painted kind of a polka dot thing, but uh, to signify the soap dolls. Okay, now usually with, uh, usually with white, there will have to be more than one coat. I've never found it to not be that way. And I will antique them a little bit just to kind of give them the look. Yeah, white doesn't usually cover the first time. You have to go uh, after it several times. I found that with... Uh, so we just don't don't put any water in it, but but the problem is it just it doesn't uh, wood soaks it up pretty pretty good. I usually have to give several coats when it involves in white because white is not a dominating color like black. In fact, it's a very neutral color as we call it. A very neutral color. But we're trying to make it look like soap a little bit. So this, if you make a couple of them, this is not a difficult painting job. This is a very, actually a very, very uh, easy painting job. Make sure you have plenty of white. <laughs> as you can see, as it is drying, it's not covering as well. But that's okay because I don't mind any any kind of uh, if I have to go over something twice that does not bother me at all. I don't I never expect usually the first time to get uh, to get what you want. And I'm just going to kind of uh, save the Now with the girl same thing except for the dress and what I will probably do is uh, just do the white first and let it dry legs and the feet. Or the 
legs and the shoes. And I'm going to also do the, the arms just to the point where Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her aside and I'm going to go back to my second coat on my, uh, it may take three coats, I don't know, we'll see, I don't know. If it does, it does. I'm not. I'm not going to make you sit through three coats. <laughs> I'll finish that up. But you get the general idea of what I'm doing, in other words. So. Now, to be honest with you, if you had white spray paint and you want to do just spray him white with some spray paint, you could do that. Set him up. But I'm just going to use this white acrylic. Anyway, you have the general idea of what I'm doing here. Now, uh, I can already see now I'm going to have to probably give it three or four coats for it to, to set right. First one, basically the first one is useless because it's, uh, it soaks into the wood. Now, another way you can do, you can seal the wood before you do it. I didn't do that. And uh, handle it a little bit better, but I don't mind. I don't mind doing the different uh, things. Let's go ahead and while I'm at it, show you a little bit about uh, how we're going to do the. Uh, let's go ahead and just do the uh, the dress. Let's 
Let's go ahead and grab these legs down here. And how I make it polka dot is I take a, a, um, a uh, toothpick and I dip it in white and I go all the way around the dress with uh, little dots. here. All right. And of course underneath here you want to be sure and get this underneath here. So this is going to take several coats so take several coats to get it done. Anyway, that's how it's going to look. And like I said, I have to let that all dry. And uh, I'll just keep, and like I said, if you have white spray paint, you can paint the, um, uh, you can paint uh, the boy with that. Anyway, all right, you got the general idea of what's going to be done, is, and I'm going to let that all dry. That all has to dry, and I, I go at it again because it's, it's useless to keep putting. Okay, well, you have the general idea of what I'm doing. So, anyway, all right, thank you now.